So you guys already know that I'm a big fan of Maverick tricking. And two days ago, user Shiho Official, head coach for Yoshimoto Gaming, posted this video to his Twitter. I'd like to take a few seconds right now to say that all credit goes to Shiho. He gave me permission to make this video, and without him, the Siege community wouldn't really know this existed. So, huge props to him. I'll put his Twitter up on screen right now. And I also have all of his socials linked in the description. Please go check him out. He is a huge help to the Siege community. This is just some incredible stuff. Although the video is in Japanese, you can see that he's actually able to open the wall, hitting only the middle segments of the wall. Normal Maverick tricking requires you to go across the entire frame. So I was obviously very excited to try this out for myself. I got to testing this in a custom game right after school. Now, I'm not entirely sure why this works the way it does, but I have to assume it has to do with some sort of structural integrity. So you can see in the video and in the clips I'm going to provide here that you need to remove all of the metal from the top beam. And you need to create an equivalent line on the bottom. Now, the weird thing about this is that with conventional Maverick tricking, you don't have to start at the very top or very bottom. But in this, as I'll show now, if you miss even a tiny little segment, the wall will not open. This makes it very important to be very consistent with how you use Maverick, so it could be a little bit tricky to get it as quickly as possible. My best attempt at tricking the wall took less than one canister, which I post on Twitter here. but I found the most consistent to be around two canisters. However, it is possible to get four or more walls in a round. I'll demonstrate that here, just sped up. But the method is pretty tricky to understand. First, you understand what you're aiming to burn through. On the top, you can see this bar with a sort of lip to it. You have to burn all the metal touching this lip. On the bottom, all you need is to make sure that the reinforcement does not make contact with the ground at all in a straight line about the same width as the top. From the outside, this is a little bit harder because you don't have visual points of reference, but you can still get it down pretty consistently. This is a picture of a reinforcement from the outside. If you align yourself with a second inner spike and look up so that all of your crosser is on the wall but as far up as possible, you will have the optimal angle and width to open the wall. From the bottom, I found this a bit trickier because of my high sensitivity, but you want to make sure that you create a smooth, straight line that doesn't have any jagged edges. For this, I try to aim the center of my crosser at the black bar on the bottom, although of course this isn't on every map, so you have to just get a feel for this. I did mess up a lot on this, and it does take a lot of practice, so don't think that this is an easy mechanic, although it will save you a lot of fuel, and it is actually faster than regular Maverick tricking. Next is your physical positioning. You want to be far enough away from the wall that you're just out of range of taking damage from the bandit batteries. I found that this distance gave you the best angle to get the whole strip in one go. I don't want to make this video too long, but I did want to go over some common mistakes that I found myself making and that my friends made when I had them try. The first and most common mistake was aiming too low when you're getting the top segment. If you aim too low, you're going to miss a tiny little bit at the top that you won't be able to see because it'll be hidden by the big red bars. The second most common mistake is standing too close to the wall. This will result in you burning that middle spike right there, and you won't be able to get the wall in one go. This isn't the worst, as it's pretty easily recoverable, but it does open you up to being nitroed if you don't do it fast enough. The third mistake has to do with the bottom segment. From the outside, you're burning through at least one extra layer of wall, so this means that you could mess up by moving your mouse cursor or just not strafing properly. When you strafe, you want to be as parallel to the wall as possible so you're not moving the torch up accidentally as you move. Since you still need soft breach to open up the wall after it's tricked, if you want, you could open up the wall prior and only then Maverick trick. This does make it a little bit easier to visually see what you need to trick, but I do want to mention that the debris on the bottom makes it really hard to see where you're burning. This also makes you a little bit more exposed to being shot by defenders. It took me consistently about 10 seconds to open the wall each time, and if the wall's already open, the defenders are going to be able to see your feet more easily.
I wanted to keep this video on the quick side. I don't want to waste your time. I am certainly going to keep practicing this and trying to improve upon it. It would be insane to be able to get six walls. But right now I'm happy with the idea of being able to open up four entire walls with just a Maverick. I'm going to keep testing this, but as it stands, Maverick actually is the best hard breach in the game right now. I mean, Maverick can open up four entire walls. That's more than a Thermite and a Habana can do combined. Assuming this doesn't get patched out, I think that Maverick Habana could actually become meta over Thermite. Being able to knock out seven reinforcements in the form of four walls and three hatches is just insane to think about. And the implications for this in Pro League are pretty huge too. So again, this method takes a lot of practice, but if you can memorize where you have to burn and how long you have to burn for, you're going to be able to open up walls quickly, safely, and efficiently. Again, huge thanks to Shiho, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for discovering this, sharing this, and giving me permission to make this video. This discovery is really just incredible. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys this week. I'm trying to stick to the one video a week schedule, but college applications are getting a little bit in the way, so but who am I kidding? No one cares about that stuff. Good luck with your Maverick tricking, and I'm out.